Welcome to Ignition 2.0 with Dr. Farouk Sensi. Well, today we have a guest all the way from Nigeria. That's none other than McDonald Lucky. Hi, McDonald. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you so much. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. McDonald, to take part in this show, you should be recommended by somebody. And in this case, when it came to your case, you were recommended by somebody in the United States. And they said that you got to interview this little boy. He is excellent and is doing miracles back in Nigeria. Now, everybody has got some sort of speciality and you are special. You have something special in you. And that's exactly what Les Brown uses that. So tell me, what is that special in you? That which is special in me, it's all about my passion. Mm -hmm. You know, my passion is that which is special about me, which is um, actually helping people and helping families. The main point is um, helping families, you know, removing their fears, turning it to, into faith, thereby giving them hope for tomorrow. Wow. So, 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 you, that's my so, so, so your passion is all the way taking out the fear and bringing in faith and hope in them and especially children and family. Yes. Right. What, what, made right. You get, what made you get into that industry? If I may use the word industry, what made you get into that very specific industry? There were a lot of other industry where you can chill out because you're a young chap. You can chill out. Why did you go to this very specific industry? What was the purpose behind that? I really faced a lot of challenges. That's why I come in conclusion to join this movement, mm -hmm. to actually turn fears of families into joy, thereby giving them hope for tomorrow. Okay, so do you, do, well, do you think that it is always nice to go through the tough time that you had gone through in your life, which actually changed you? There could be a lot of kids in your age right now in Nigeria and many other parts of the world, and they are getting spoon fed with the golden and silver spoon, and they don't know what is the hell, if I may use the word hell. When you go to the downside of life, you have gone to the downside, and that's the reason you took the shift and you said that, no, 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 God has given me a life, and I have to make that life purposeful. And that's why you're here today serving the children, serving family, giving them hope. So it is all because you went to that ditch. So do you think it is good to go to the ditch for some time and then learn your lesson and then move up? Yes, actually. Um, yeah, you know, like you said, some we are born with a golden spoon. Yes, actually, I agreed on that because actually all fingers are not equal. So um, there are some families who, who actually don't know what um, the world is talking about because they, we are being, they we are being brought up um, in a wealthy and, and, and rich families. So for me, I learned a lot in my past based on I weren't so, I weren't brought up so. But I found out that there are some people who are, who are still passing what I've passed through. Mm -hmm. So I brought that conclusion to, to be, uh, you know, to be help to them, you know, thereby, thereby giving them hope now. Yes, um, we all are, are separated in, in different worlds. So, but actually we need to understand that, that um, when we are actually in this world, we will face challenges. But one thing I keep on telling people is, um, number one thing is that never giving up because that is the fit there. That is the fit there. When you never give up, you believe that you believe for a greater tomorrow. You believe that things will definitely turn. It's uh, it's it's just a matter of time. So I believe that. Very good, excellent. So you're so motivating and inspiring. Tell me one thing, McDonald. When did you start your journey? 
um, I've been I've been passing through challenges probably when I was a child till my 20 years. So at the point came where I had to contact, um, where I had to you know, get in contact with my mentor who also have the same passion which I do. And we, we came in together to actually create this idea. So um, I think and I believe that through this movement, many lives have been transformed as well. It's been a wonderful thing. Excellent. So you said that uh, you started your journey around about two years back and you found your uh, mentor uh, in the United States and you are now into this very particular movement of helping family and kids. So my question would be, how did you find your mentor and who is your mentor? Yeah, actually, I, um, I got in connection with him through social media. Though I've never, I've never actually seen him before, but there's some, there's this thing he found out in me. He found out a great potential. So he had to um, reach out to me to actually seek for my working with him together. Mm -hmm. So we, 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 I accepted and on the process, we are making a great change. Wow. And actually, my mentor is um, um, Jim Dixon from the United States. Now, my, my next question is, since you're helping families and family members and kids, where do you get the financial support? Do you get donation? How do you create or where is the cash flow coming in? Yes, actually, we have a product which we sell, mm -hmm. which is the T-shirt. Okay. Now, this T-shirt is uniquely created. Mm -hmm. When I mean uniquely created, it's all about translating child's unique drawing of what they think God looks like into T-shirts. Mm -hmm. You know, then we'll sell it exclusively online. Mm -hmm. Now, make the profit make use of the profits in supplying them with school supplies and also helping families as well. And sometimes we'll as well get donations from, from, um, from, from people as well. Okay. So, so you say that how God looks like and, and the t-shirt is all about that. Yeah. Okay. So you're, you're giving a shape to God or what, what does that mean? Yeah, it, it's it's all about uh, you know that is giving them the mentality of because the, the, these are the, the the drawing of children. Mm -hmm. Now now we are giving them the mentality of um, of knowing that we have a one God. Mm -hmm. So that is why we we called it visions of God. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, you, so uh, what do you call it? Once again, I couldn't get that. What do you call it? Visions oh, of God. Okay, visions of God. Okay, great. So my, my, my question goes back to again. So do you have a coat on the T-shirt or, or is it a plain T-shirt? How is it? Yeah, you, you actually, it's not a plain T-shirt, mm -hmm. but you actually see some drawings mm -hmm. on the T-shirts. Okay. So does, yeah. it ha does it have a caption or does it have a slogan or does it have a quote? Um, it has a logo. Okay. So which is, um, is abbreviation V-O-G. Okay. And uh, so, so every, every, because we are actually working with um, about nine countries or so, Mm -hmm. Now every country has its own logo based okay. on um, based on the the flag of the country. Mm, okay. Yeah. So that's how we created it. Great. Great. So, so do you have any sort of 
get together with other country members because uh, behind the screen we spoke that you have branches in in uh, uh, india you have in bangladesh you have in pakistan and you have in bhutan and other countries philippines for example so you have you have branches or members in all those countries so is there a way that you get together how is it how do you connect each other yes actually we still connect um in the conference call, mm -hmm. we co we connect in a conference call. So um, we are actually planning to to meet together, a kind of um, get together in, in in a particular location. I think that should be in the United States. Okay, excellent. But I, I'm just predicting, you know, I'm just predicting. Not actually, I'm not sure about that, but I think. Mm -hmm. That would be in the system. Great. So, how many families did you change in the past two years? Yeah, um, I've actually reached out to so many families, so many families, mm -hmm. actually, so many families. And, you know, um, there's this saying that, say, that goes like this um, that charity begins at home. So, I started with my own family. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I started with my own family and as well reach out to other families. Uh, I think I can I can just uh, you know can them you know how how was the response? How was the response from your family since you started from your family and your family has never seen you doing that before? So how was the response you got from your inner circle? When I talk about inner circle, I'm talking about very specifically your family. Yes, actually, um, you know, it was magical mm -hmm. because they never expected that. They never expected that mm -hmm. until I had to share my, my testimony on how I met my mentor and on how I got in connection with him and how we have been working together to make this world a better place. They were so much happy and, and I think every morning... Uh, my mom always pray for, for the movement. So, so their, their response was wonderful. Great. Now, what, how is the response from your outside circle? When I say outside circle, this could be other family members. It could be other, your, your, your clients, maybe, if I may use that word. It could be the politicians. It could be the government. It could be the entrepreneurs out there. How do they see you? Yeah, actually, so many see me um, in a, in a, as a, a wonderful personnel. Let me use the word "a wonderful personnel" because when they when they see this vision and when they see what I'm doing in the society, you know, they are so much happy. Mm -hmm. And I think even the family, I mean. I received a call yesterday concerning um, the 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 family I have, and she was she was like that's a lady. She was like, "Hello, how are you doing? I I I really miss your your invitation." You know, it was it, you know the joy we are there. Mm -hmm. You know, he expressed herself. She expressed herself. Sorry. In a, in, in a way that, 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 you know, she felt at home, in fact. Mm -hmm. She felt at home. So I was, I was really, really amazed on that. Seriously. So um, I, I really appreciate God for everything. Wow, well, great. Now, there is a very good book uh, written by Marshall Goldsmith. He's a leadership expert in the world. And the name of the book is What Got You Here Will Not Get You There. Now, for the last two years, McDonald, you have done a fantastic job. And you have created your own brand. Now, with a t-shirt, for sure. Now, do you think that just sticking on to the t-shirt will take you to the next level? Actually, um, I'm not having that mentality to grow on on only t-shirts mm -hmm. so i i'm looking forward to also create other 
other things that can actually um, finance this movement. So which um, I'm trying to, uh, you know, communicate with my mentor and we are trying to, you know, bring ideas together because I'm working with him. So we, we actually bring ideas together to make things right mm -hmm. and in, a, in, in, in an upright way. Great, great. So my question here would be, there are a lot of youngsters like you who are in their 20s. What is that one advice that you would like to give those youngsters like you? One, one thing I have to give to them, mm -hmm. or the things I have to, to give to them is, in all predicament, in all situation, never give up. Mm -hmm. Never give up because when you never give up, when you are, when when you persevere, when you endure, you know, you will come out in a flying corner. Mm -hmm. So so so, that's the most important thing. Never give up because right. you, you 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 came up from somewhere and I believe when you never give up you will make a change you will make a difference in the society Absolutely. when you persevere that, that is perseverance mm -hmm. enduring so endurance is very important um, perseverance is very very important wow now I've been speaking to you yesterday and today I can see a motivator in you I can see an inspiring quality in you have you ever thought of taking that to the next level now I'm not talking about your t-shirt I'm not talking about anything external you as an individual McDonald lucky as an individual you have a lot of gift because I can hear that from you and when you speak to me I can hear the motivation the inspiration within you and the charge that you have. Would you like to take yourself to the next level as a speaker? It, it, it will be a great opportunity. Seriously, it will. Um, though I've never think of that, but I, I think it will be because I have um, many things to share. I have many things to share. Mm -hmm. How I, you know, how I walk through my journey, how I, you know, endured to this point. So I have many things to share. So I think it will motivate so many people. Great. Have you ever got onto the stage and spoken about you and about your intention, <laughs> about your purpose and about your foundation? to the public or to an organization? Have you ever pitched yourself? Actually, I've not actually um, gone to a stage, but I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. Okay. I only share my, my, my testimonies with, uh, in, with the families which I reach out to and to strengthen them, you know, to, to post um to turn their fears into faith great my next question would be taking the same thing into a social media have you ever spoken now you said that you had never spoken on stage and especially about yourself or your intentions and purpose have you ever taken the opportunity to speak about you or your organization on social media it's especially I'm talking about Facebook and YouTube I'm talking about YouTube in specific have you ever done that have you ever spoken on the camera about you your objectives your organization and how you want to bring a change in the world not actually not actually I I did I think I did a video recent uh, not recently I think years back i did a video that is on facebook mm -hmm. so so since then i've not actually but i try to write up um 
little writings and posts online so people can see and also share some of the um, pictures as well. Great. Don't you think it's important to have your persons on the stage? Don't you think that you need to have your persons on social media, especially on YouTube, where people can see, hear, and feel who you are? And don't you think that you need to have a very good presence in Facebook and other medias as well? Yeah, I, I think, I think that because I believe that that will as well motivate others. I think, and it it will be a great start. Well, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Okay, you're looking forward now. You're looking forward. Always understand. McDonald, you have to bring opportunities towards you. If you sit on the bank of the river and expecting the big fish to come to you, it will never come. You have to go to the deep ocean to catch the biggest fish. Is that correct? Yes. So here, sure. here, so here is the challenge. I know this is an interview. And I know that the track of the interview has changed, but I want you to take this as a challenge. And I know that there are a lot of audience who are going to watch this. And this is a challenge in front of all this audience to you. And I want to see that potential because I can see the potential in you, but I want you to get out of that limiting beliefs. And I want you to take the step outside your limiting belief rather than sitting on the bank of the river. I want you to take the deep, dive into that ocean which is full of challenges and the very first challenge you have is within the next one month time and take this this is a challenge for you within the next one month you should get onto at least two stages two stage public stage in your country can you accept the challenge from me um, yes, actually, I think I can. Um, is it only you think you can or is it I can? There's a difference. I can. There's a difference between I, can, I, think, yeah. I think I can and I can is a lot of big difference. There's a huge gap. It's a trunch. There's mm -hmm. a pitch. So I want to get a clear, yes. clear response from you. Do you think you can yes. or you can? Yes, I can. Very yes, good. I can. Very good. That's what I want to hear from you. That's what I want to hear from you. So, my dear ladies and gentlemen, you just heard this champion, this little champion, McDonald Lucky. He has just promised that within the next 30 days, he's going to get onto a stage. It's, when I say stage, it is not a stage with a crowd of two people. There should be minimum, I'm giving you the condition, there should be minimum 15 people in both the stages. That means you need to have audience 15 audience in the first one and 15 audience in the second ones. Therefore, you are impacting the life of 30 people. They are coming across your mission and your, your vision and about you, about your organization. That's challenge number one. It's not over yet. Within the next 30 days, within the next 30 days, would you be able to come up on YouTube with minimum four videos? of maybe five minutes long. That's it, not 10 minutes or 20 minutes. Five minutes long. I'm not looking for a professional camera. I'm not looking for a professional uh, videographer. You can just go out, stand with your iPhone or mobile device and capture your vision, your mission, what you do and what you want to do for the people around the world. Is it possible for you, McDonald Lucky, to take this challenge from Farooq Sinsi today? that you would be able to bring a change in people's life and people can know who you are within the next 30 days with at least four videos with your own channel. You have to create your own channel. You have to develop your own YouTube channel and you have to post four videos. Is that challenge taken by you? Yes, sure. Yes, 100% sure. I can. I can. Okay. Very good. This is, this is what the whole intention of ignition is about. Ignition is to ignite people like you. Ladies and gentlemen, McDonald Lucky, all the way from Nigeria.